Hello guys, uh, this is Krishna. Thank you for joining me today. Uh, what I'm going to show you is how you can connect, um, you can see the different files uh, in your server or in, of your application and also how you can connect with FileZilla which is basically uh, an FTP client. If you don't yet have an account and you want to follow along with me, um, you're going to find in the description um, that, you know, of this video on YouTube, uh, you're probably going to find a link here. Uh, this is a referral link that's going to give you a free trial, but as well, you're going to find over here, use this coupon if you want to get 10% uh, off for the next three months, um, you know, if you, if you want it. If you already have an account, uh, we're just going to keep going with, uh, with uh, what I'm going to show you. So the different ways that you can access, there are different ways that you can access your the files in your server. So you can access either the file of, of your server, which is basically going to show all the applications in your server, or you can select to just see the files of a specific application. So over here, I have um, a server that I have created. After this tutorial, I'm going to delete that so, uh, you know, you don't need to worry about this IP is not no longer going to be available or the different credentials that I'm going to have there, right? So I have this uh, application that I have here, this server that I have here, and also have an application here. And what I'm going to do right now, actually, let me just go ahead and create uh, a second application really quickly. So I'm just going to say app two, just go to like this. And I'm gonna go ahead and create that. Um, so uh, what is create? What is gonna be? What what is gonna create that application? I can just come up here, and uh, we can look at something. So if I click over here in the server, oh, okay. So basically, it's gonna take a little while. Uh, I'm gonna uh, pu um, I'm gonna uh, get back here when uh, this is done. Okay. So the application is not created, and the reason why I wanted to do that is because I wanted to show you that when I log in into my server. Uh, I'm going to be able to see the files of all the application uh, that, are, that are there. So basically when I come up here, you're going to find that over here I have credentials that I can use, right? So those credentials here, you can either log in to see, and this is the credentials of the server, right? And over here we can log in via SF, SFTP or via SSH. Okay, so SSH over here, we have all the credentials that we need. So we have the public IP, we have the username and the password. Uh, with SSH, we can come up here, log in through uh, this uh, terminal over here. So I can just launch this and I'm going to come up here. Uh, I'm going to click on advanced and I'm going to come up here, proceed to uh, the IP. Okay, when I get over here, it's going to ask me to provide uh, the username and I'm just going to come up here copy this I'm going to I'm going to paste it press enter I'm going to come up here get the password as well press enter and now I am logged in in the server so if I come up here ls which is basically listing all the folders from where I am right now which is basically the home directory this is where I am, the home uh, directory over here. I can go to the applications. I can see what I have. So this is what I wanted to show you. So because I have created, um, there was an application that was there before and I created one just at the beginning of this video. Now I have both applications that are over here and I can go ahead and check out one of them and just see how all the different folders that are over here. The folder that you're gonna be using the most is gonna be the public HTML over here. So let's have a look at it. This is where you're going to have all your WordPress uh, files, basically. And uh, we're going to get a little bit deeper into that when we're actually going to have, uh, we're going to do the SFTP, but this is how you're actually going to be able to do that. So for now, I'm going to lo log out, out of here, right? I just need to do that and the session, the session is closed, okay? So this is how you're able to, if, you, if you're comfortable with the terminal, um, and you you uh, you know what to do. This is how you can you can access it. What we're gonna do now? We're just gonna go jump in here. We're gonna go to application, and uh, we're gonna select one of the application. I'm just gonna go with, with this one over here. And actually, like, right now, let me just delete this. Um, so basically, with uh, the application at first, so you're gonna see if I select the second application over here. 
there is uh, there are no credentials that are provided over here for the app for the application so we need to create one right so uh, i'm just going to come up here i'm just going to say app 2 this is the one that i'm using i need to provide a password and what i'm going to do i'm just going to come up here i have this page over here that I, that is ready um and usually i'm trying to make my password really long um because it's more secure right it is going to take if you have um uh, an algorithm or a computer or a bot who's trying to decipher your password is actually gonna take them years and years and years to decipher this so the longer it is the more security so I'm just gonna come up here copy this okay and I'm gonna jump in here and add this and right now it's letting me know that I have checked all the requirements for the password and I can add this over here it's gonna go ahead and create the credential for my WordPress application here. Now the credential is ready. I don't want to save that. And I'm just going to leave that over here. Okay. So now that we have the credential created, the way that we can log in, we can do the same. We can do it the same way that uh, we did there with uh, the um, with the with the SSH, I'm actually going to show you actually how we do that from the terminal. The first thing that we're going to look uh, that we're going to look at is how we do it on. Let me, let me come up here. Let me just type Fazila. So Fazila is the FTP client that I'm using over here, right? But you could there, there are different FTP clients that you could use uh, if you just come on. On Google, you tap FTP client and you're going to find uh, several ones. Just choose the one that you feel more comfortable with. I like FileZilla, so I'm just going to go with that. So when I have FileZilla open, now I can provide the different criteria, the different credentials that I have here. So let me just go ahead and do that. I'm just going to go over here. I need to copy the public IP, and this is where it's going to go to the host over here. We're going to copy the username. Just gonna copy this. I'm gonna put it here, All right? And I'm gonna copy the password. And I'm just gonna have it here. So usually the port, I don't usually add it by default. Sometimes he actually knows it. I believe it's 22. If it provides an error here, we're gonna go ahead and add it. But usually it does. Uh, do not save password. He's gonna go ahead and uh, he's gonna um, add it by by himself. Just trying to see if he logs me in. So it looks like uh, you know what? So I could not connect, could not connect to the server. So give me one second. What I'm gonna do? What I'm gonna do? Let me try to do it from here. Yeah, let me try to do it. Sorry. So I'm going to do over here. I'm going to say app two. And I'm going to select that uh, I'm actually want to connect via SFTP, right? So let's redo that again. So I'm going to I'm going to do it from here. Select this. I'm going to say that I want to connect normally. I'm going to select app two. User. I'm going to come up here. I'm going to provide the password. And I'm gonna click connect. Okay, no problem. Connect. So now it's connecting me. So I believe I think the first option I think it was trying to connect via FTP over here, but this was a SFTP connection, and this is why it couldn't let it wouldn't let me connect. So over here, you know, you can decide to always trust this host. Usually, if you are gonna use this uh, very often, then do that. Right now, I'm just gonna click OK over here. And now I am logged in in the folder that is only for this application over here, right? So I'm I'm only seeing the uh, that, that the information that is just for this application. So if I come up here, that is just this application that I'm seeing over here, right? So this is where you have the file in your computer, and you're gonna go to the appropriate 
a folder where you have document that you want to move over to your server and uh, you, the when you when you're over here in the application the, the like I mentioned the one that you're gonna look at is always gonna be the public one so this is where you have all the files for uh, for WordPress uh, and let's say maybe you wanna you wanna see the you wanna uh, look at the different uh, folders where you have plugins of them. This is where you're gonna see it's gonna be on W content. So let me just quickly what I'm gonna do right now. I'm actually gonna show you. Let me just go back over here, and you're gonna see that now. Let's try to log in with the um, with the. I'm just gonna say server over here, right? And let's log in with those master one. So I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna have it here I'm gonna say normal that's what I think it's actually gonna ask me because I selected there to not remember the password it's gonna let me know that I, you know I cannot have the password there so I'm gonna select it so it's letting me know because I have disab uh, disabled to save the password uh, it's gonna ask me the password and I'm just gonna tap it again remember I'm gonna establish connection uh, connection in a new tab it's gonna open here and what you're gonna see now so over here this is what we had we were right into that application folder but over here we're gonna come to the server we have first the the application uh, folder over here and this is where we have now the different uh, application that we have the single application that we have the way you know which one it is so you need to look at this name over here and when you come back to your application let's go to one over here Let's go to this one and basically you're gonna see it is a little bit based as well based on the mysql here so if we go over there and we have a look this is where you have that you also have that here okay so that's how you know which one it actually is okay so um the other thing that you can the other way that you can log in uh, like I say with the um, you can again so we did it with SFTP but you can also do it with SSH and SSH is basically a lot of the time uh, throughout the with the terminal so I'm just gonna come up here and just uh, go with the terminal I'm gonna open the terminal terminal is open All right so with the terminal being open up, up here what I'm gonna do is uh, the way we connect we type SSH we need to provide the username okay and we, we need to provide the username at we're going to provide as well the public ip over here okay so when we're going to do that it's going to let us know are you sure you want to uh, to continue uh, connecting i'm going to say yes it's going to let me know to provide the password let me do that and right now it looks like i'm getting an error it says shell access is disabled uh, connection to whatever the API is closed so for this application um, it seems like uh, we cannot uh, uh, connecting to SSH has been disabled so the way we're gonna turn it on we're gonna come up here to uh, application settings just to have a look and this is what we have over here we're gonna see SSH access disabled we're just gonna turn it on say so, okay it's gonna do something over here okay so now we're ready we're just gonna come up here and we're gonna redo the same process that we just did so I'm just gonna press uh, 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 arrow up to bring me the the last uh, uh, entry that I had there right so I'm just gonna press again I probably have the password saved again on the clipboard so I'm just gonna press command V press again uh, let me just try again the password I think I had it but it looks like I don't have it so I just copy this. I'm gonna press press again the password, and now I am logged in. Okay. So if you look up here, I am logged in in the FT uh, VW over here, which is the same one that I have here. And if I put edits, I have all the different um, uh, files that I have here, which are the same ones that we're seeing over um, that will be over here, right? those are the same ones that we see in here so I can go to the LS WP content over here right uh, and over here if I if I go there it's gonna let me know basically I'm having index that PHP I have plugins themes upgrade uploads which are the same ones that are over here okay so 
this is this is how uh, this is how we can actually let me do that ls dla yeah so this is how we can uh, go in and actually uh, access the files in our cloudway server whether you want to see the files of the server well whether you want to see the files of um, of the application you can do it with an FTP client right through an SFTP connection or you can do it with the terminal via SSH so this is what I wanted to show you if you have any questions feel free to let me know but uh, I will be back with another video next time okay thank you bye